Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing the prologue to Lights, Camera, Slaughter, a first person horror game that's due to be released Halloween of this year, 2021. If you want to get this prologue for yourselves, look down below in the description, the links and the details are down there, and you can actually download and play this one for free. Now, rather worryingly, I think in this prologue I'm going to be playing as Officer M. Andrews, who we just read was killed. So this probably isn't going to end very well, but nevertheless, I really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video by the end. Let's play. Okay. I hate working the night shift here. There's never any 911 calls this late. Everyone's gone back home, so I'm all alone. I mean, seriously. Last night I got a call from Mrs. Jenkins about a cat in a tree. Some people have no lives, just like nerds who play video games. Mm-hmm. But that's enough complaining. I should make myself a coffee and start my shift. It's gonna be a long night. I can interact with objects using E and walk with W, A, S, and D. It's a strange thing to think, but okay. <laughs> Here we are then. Alright, yeah, definitely going for a retro feel. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of some uh, puppet combo games or scythe dev team. So let's see. Something from the vending machine, maybe? The state finally gave us a new vending machine. Damn shame I don't have any cash for a soda. Ah. There's a key here. It's a key for the staff bathroom. Oh, definitely. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, what have we got here? Time magazine, is it? Yep, yeah, dated 1989. Looks pretty old and well used. Okay. Right, yes. If we can't get a soda from the machine, the water's gonna have to do. Uh, this way? Okay. Now that I have my drink, I can start taking some 911 calls that come in. <laughs> I need the drink, apparently. I just need to find a desk with a red phone. This will let me take any incoming calls. Alright. Was that music reminding anyone else of Twin Peaks? Just a little bit. Okay. Is this the staff bathroom? Are you serious? Oh man, oh, which one do I pick? <laughs> Maybe I'll come back in here a little bit later on after I've had my water. Alright. God, that's dreadful. The facilities here are just terrible. Right, so uh, a red phone, right? Red phone. Uh, okay. Here we go, this one here. I can use this computer and phone to take calls. So, yeah, let's do it. Alright. Seems like I'm the only person here, which is a little bit alarming, but uh, I can answer the phone by looking and pressing E. And once I've answered the phone, I can ask multiple questions. I need to get as much information as possible. Okay. Well, there it is. Whee! <laughs> right, just gotta wait for it to ring, I guess. Yeah, no one here, just me. Uh, hello? Please help! I need the fire department! Um, uh, okay. Where are you? We'll send them now. It's dispatch all over again, isn't it? I'm at Danny's bar. There's a smoking hot babe. Sir, this is for emergencies only. Fuck you, buddy. Okay, don't get involved, just ellipsis him. Fucking jackass, what a waste of time. <sighs> right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't think it would take too long. Uh... Silence on the line, apparently. Uh, who is this? Do you need help? Sir? Hello? Are you safe? Ooh. Another prank call. Great. Was that a prank call, though? Huh. Okay. Right. Are we going to get a third? Third time's the charm. And there it is. Uh, hello? I want to report a disturbance. Uh, what's going on? Fork kids are trespassing at the Miller and Son slaughterhouse. Uh, can you see them? They just went in. I can hear screams! Hurry! Okay, sir, police are on the way. Or at least they will be when I call them. I haven't done that yet, but... Uh, hurry! They're arriving now, sir. They're quick. <laughs> and this is where Mr. Andrews gets involved. On July 2nd, 1990, Officer M. Andrews would go missing whilst on duty in the Maston Lake area. His last known whereabouts was Miller & Sons Abattoir, or Abattoir, just north of Maston Lake. 
Although his body was found, it was too mutilated and outright horrific to identify at the time. Specialists say he was hacked with a sort of butcher knife, roughly 16 inches in length, with tremendous force. This weapon was never found. And nor was the culprit, presumably. M. Andrews was responding to a dispatch call of disturbance within the perimeter of the Miller & Sons establishment, although dispatch lost all contact with Andrews after responding to this call. It was believed he was struck whilst trying to enter the now abandoned building itself. However, only M. Andrews will know the full story. Okay. We are going to... Yes, we are going to get to play as him. Okay, so dispatch, this is Andrews. I've just arrived at the scene now. No signs of anyone here so far. Over. 10-4, Andrew. Mr. Jenkins said he saw four kids enter the slaughterhouse. Probably some rave again. Yeah, fucking raves. Well, I'll look for any clues and a way into the building. I'll let you know if I see anything. Is he not going to say over? He probably should have said over. Anyway, 10-4, uh, Andrews. Pass my best wishes to your wife. How long has she got? Three months. I'm visiting her in hospital tonight. Mm. You won't be. I'll pass your message on. Over and out. Right. Okay. So, I know this is going to end really badly. Can I leave? Uh, okay, this is my undercover car. I haven't been out much since the baby. Let's get this over with. Right, just for a second I thought that would be an option. Right. Okay, so the abattoir's through there, is it? So what's this? Is this how the kids arrived? This must be their car. The hood is warm to the touch and the motor starter is still clicking. They must have arrived within the last hour or so. Alright, okay. Um... So what's this? The, the sign for it? Hmm, okay. Oh, bloody invisible barriers. I can't even walk home. Okay, well... There's gonna be a way through somewhere, right? Oh, look at this. A hole in the fence. You can just about see it. Actually, let me have a look. Is this one of those games where you can turn the VHS effect... ...off? Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, I know some people aren't really a fan of that, so I might play the rest of the game like this instead. Should give you a little bit more clarity. Alright. Uh, let's see. Somewhere around to the right, you would think. Another car? How in the hell did you park there? This car is completely abandoned. All four wheels of burst and rust is seeping from the hood. It's been here a while then. Maybe a previous victim? Uh-huh. Okay, well this is the place. This is the abattoir, right? This is feeling very Northbury Grove, actually. Yeah. Okay, we're in. Right. I... Where did that come from? <laughs> uh, Andrew... There's the... Disturbance, and then static. Was that Dispatch trying to get hold of me? Not M. Andrews, presumably. Uh, dispatch? Can you hear me? Damn, radio. I need to go back outside and get signal. Okay. Oh, look at that handprint. Oh, god damn it. I came through a one-way door. I need to find an exit and call for backup. Oh, right, it's space for the flashlight. I was trying to press F and L and all these other buttons. Okay. Yeah, that's never good. Alright. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. I believe this is the developer's first game as well, so... This is pretty astounding, honestly. You've done very well. Okay. Alright. Uh... Don't know, maybe, maybe I should go back? Right, let's just see. Where else can we go here? Can we interact with this? No? Alright, this appears to be locked from the other side, so I think it's it's just this door, really. We've got to go through. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's not try the doors at the moment. Let's just see what we find in this corridor. Uh, it's a decent flashlight, I suppose. More bloody handprints over here. I don't suppose we can escape via the window, can we? Ah, it's too small for me to climb through. I like that that's included, though. Yeah, that's that's a nice detail. Um, okay, let's let's start trying the doors. Okay, this door is missing its door handle. Okay, I should try and find it. Okay, not in the bin, is it? In here? Mm, again, that's locked from the other side. This one? Mm-hmm. Same issue. 
Well, I hope this one works. Oh, good. <laughs> Hey, the toilets. And to be honest, this actually looks a little better than the FBI's. Uh, so let's see. What the hell was that? I thought someone was trying the door for a second. I thought I was going to get locked in. Right, okay. Um, I'm hoping there's going to be a hand over here, to be honest. The smell coming from this toilet is horrendous. So naturally, yeah, let's search inside it. Oh man. Is there a is there a handle in there? I'm hoping so. I found nothing. Wonderful. Okay. Uh let's choose right. Okay. <laughs> it's gotta be in one of these, right? Uh, has the game crashed? I think the game may have crashed. I was warned that this game is a little bit buggy. Just my luck, eh? A game where you can actually search in toilets to find items and the game crashes. Oh well. Okay, I'm searching inside the right toilet again. Hopefully this doesn't crash this time. Ah, oh, there you go, I found a door handle. I just need to find the door with the missing handle. Well, I know it's at the end of the corridor, so let's get out of here, shall we? Alright, there you go. Through here, then. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It didn't take me too long to get back to this point, really. Alright. Okay. Looks like the FBI's offices, honestly. <laughs> Let's see, what we got here? Uh, it's a large pile of notes. Yeah, let's read them. Okay, so uh, this is the 19th of March, 84, apparently, employee meeting. I had a meeting with George Miller today regarding his strange behavior around the animal carcasses. He has a strange fascination with the dead and was caught taking photos, which is strictly prohibited. He didn't speak throughout the whole meeting, which isn't surprising knowing George. He's always been quiet, but did a good day's work. I'm starting to worry about him a little. Right, so it's going to be this guy that kills me, is it? <laughs> Can't use the PC. What have we got here? More notes? Yeah, another large pile of notes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think that's meant to happen, but fair enough. All right. Yeah, obviously the game needs some work. Some bugs need to be fixed. Uh, you know, some spelling, grammatical errors, stuff like that. But I'm still having fun with it. Okay. Can we... Oh, we go into the vent, do we? Wonderful. Weird shaped vent. Nice. Yeah, I am certainly getting a Northbury Grove vibe. It's lacking John of the Shred, though. <laughs> okay. Down here, I think. It's not a good feeling knowing that I'm essentially crawling to my own end. And there's nothing I can really do about it. Did I just see something go to the left? I think I did. But the trouble is, left is right, so I've got to go this way. I've always got to go left. Okay. Ah, uh, we're going to go down again by the looks of it. Yeah. A little bit of a maze, this vent system. Oh, it's a dead end, but it looks like there's a, there's a note or something? Yeah, it's an old note. Huh. I guess in the full game there's going to be something. I, I I don't really know. Although, to be honest, I don't know if this section is going to be in the full game. This might just be completely separate. But, uh, yeah, there's another example of, you know, something that does need to be worked on. It's not perfect by any means, but I am still having fun with it. Oh my god, these textures moving around is kind of tripping me out. Right. Here we go. Yep. Oh god. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, that is... well, that's just psychedelic, really. Alright, uh, this way, then. This does not look good. Oh, dear. Uh, it's locked from the other side. There's a sign? Okay. This will be the last you hear from me. A flickering candle on the table. A golden tear. There is only panic. Blighted. I beg for forgiveness. He who lives. Yeah, alright. Is this for the smoke? The steam? 
Oh, it's jammed in the on position. Right. It looks like there's maybe... Yeah, there's a valve wheel missing. Maybe we can find it? Uh, well, let's go this way. I, I don't really want to go through there. I might risk death. <laughs> like a premature death. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, these textures moving around, it, it really is just a, a weird feeling going through this. All right, through here. Okay. Let's see. Can't access that. Oh, more blood. Wonderful. Um. All right. Is this where he slept? Or maybe his victims? I don't know. Wait, was that one? One, six, three, one. I'm just going to note that down. One, six, three, one. Okay. That is a six, I think, not an eight. All right. Oh! Well, there you go. Apparently, this is where the valve wheel will sleep. Um, yeah, okay. Well, hopefully that's going to help me out with the steam. I haven't bumped into him quite yet. Which is a little bit concerning, you know? It's, it's the calm before the storm. And I know, based on what I read at the very beginning, it's going to get very stormy. Ah. Uh. Okay. I'm expecting it to be a very loud, sort of, jump-scare appearance as well. I guess we'll see. Okay, so, if that goes there... There you go. Wonderful! Yeah, the steam has finally stopped. I can pass through safely. Alright. So yeah, it was dangerous. <laughs> okay. Left or right? It's gonna have to be left. I mean right! <laughs> of course I meant right. Uh, get... Ooh. Okay. Is it a... is it a timing thing? It might be a timing thing. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I made it through. So far, so good. Uh, look at this. What's this? Locked then? The door's locked. I think I need to open it with this keypad. Well, I think I've probably got the code, but... What's down here? Another blockage, of course, of course. Okay, well, I assume it's 1631. So let's see. Uh, 1631. There you go. Yep, we're through. All right. Oh God, the door's locked behind me as well. All right, all right, uh, this way it is then. Towards the blood. <laughs> I'm not getting a... I'm definitely not getting a good vibe. Right, uh, yeah, let's go right for once. Let's go this way. Into... Uh, toilets, I think. Well, they used to be toilets. Now it's some horrible workshop. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, no door handle down that toilet. Uh, this way, then. I think I heard someone running away. Could be one of the kids, but it's unlikely, isn't it? Oh, not again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, right. Uh, oh, look at that. Is that a circular saw? Well, you know what? I'm not actually going to get killed with one of those. So, yeah, that, that gives me comfort. <laughs> uh, let's go left. Let's go left. Yeah, not getting good vibes from this. Oh shit, oh shit, wait, it was a dead end, fuck, okay, uh, right, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Uh, let's see, where are we gonna go? We're gonna go left, we're gonna go left, and uh, we're gonna go left again, then again, and I just can't get enough of left, right, okay, there's a, there's a dead end. Here, right, it's another dead end, I can't use the windows, oh Jesus Christ, okay. Oh jeez, oh fuck me, okay, here we go, uh, right, yes, let's go right, and then right again, yes. And we're back to the central room. Right. Am I being chased? I actually don't know. Feels like this music was a little bit premature, quite honestly. I might not be in any danger. I might be able to escape. Maybe this is not where I die. Maybe I go this way. <gasps> oh, sh Maybe that isn't the way to go. Right. 
Well, there you go. The tape wasn't lying. As advertised, I died. And that ends the demo. That ends the prologue to Lights, Camera, Slaughter. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Really hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. Let me know what you thought about this. I quite enjoyed my time with this. Yeah, I quite like this. I think this is a solid start. It's full of potential. It's full of promise. But as I've stated before, there are a few things that do need to be worked on before the game's release Halloween. So, yeah. Uh, there's glitches, there's bugs, there's a crashing issue, notes don't open properly, it seems like the wrong person speaking at times, spelling, grammatical errors, stuff like that. If all that's fixed up by the time Halloween rolls around, then no worries. It does have a puppet combo scythe dev team, certainly North Grove feel to it. Which is good, um, but it is maybe leaning a little bit too far in that direction. Although, to be honest, I think the plot of the main game is going to be sufficiently different. I think in the main game we're going to be playing as a member of a film crew, filming a slasher film that gets a little bit out of hand, and presumably our friend gets involved. But, uh, yeah, no, I enjoyed this, and if this actually is the developer's first game, or first proper game, then yeah, I am very, very impressed. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. Some people have no lives, just like nerds who play video games. Is this the staff bathroom? Are you serious? Oh man. Are you safe? Ooh. Another prank call. Great. Was that a prank call though? Police are on the way. Or at least they will be when I call them. I haven't done that yet, but... Uh, hurry! They're arriving now, sir. They're quick. I... Where did that come from? <laughs> Just my luck, eh? A game where you can actually search in toilets to find items and the game crashes. Oh well. Yeah, another large pile of notes. <laughs> okay! There is only panic. Blighted. I beg for forgiveness. He who lives. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I'm not getting a... I'm definitely not getting a good vibe. You know what? I'm not actually going to get killed with one of those, so yeah, that, that gives me comfort. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I might not be in any danger. I might be able to escape. Maybe this is not where I die. Maybe I go this way. Oh sh- Maybe that isn't the way to go.